I want to say thank you uh, first to everyone that's uh, here uh, and everyone that's still here. Um, I know that this is a long day. Cloud native days always are. Um, uh, and it's the spicy questions that make them worthwhile. Uh, so thank you uh, for your participation. Um, a tremendous thanks to all of our speakers today. Uh, I know how hard you work. Uh, some of you uh, really line up for conference-driven development. I was amazed uh, by all the talks, and I was not let down uh, in the slightest. A huge thanks to our incredible staff and the two empty spots. I apologize to our sound crew and our video crew. I intended to come and get your names and pictures, and I did not do that. Uh, and I, but I really wanted to say thank you. Uh, and to the volunteer staff as well. Uh, so to the uh, folks that usually don't get thanked in the room and did not get thanked on stage today, thank you. A uh, huge thanks to the program committee. Uh, we get uh, an incredible number of submissions for WASM Day, and we put a lot of time into telling a story on stage and trying to help uh, the audience navigate um, the landscape and figure out what is the right content to deliver at the right time. And it is truly a thankless job, uh, so I'm very grateful for the incredible participation of the program committee. Uh, and the story today started with uh, an absolutely packed house with Bailey, uh, setting a bold vision for the past. How did we get here? Where is WebAssembly today? And what does the rise of WebAssembly really mean? Uh, and then Taylor came up and I think gave us all the hands-on tutorial and did his little cha-cha-cha and danced us through um, uh, 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 the pipe operator, essentially. Um, uh, that we could take these WebAssembly components and we could just start plugging them in and lining them up in an inter-process fashion. And that is what I think is uh, really inspires me about the performance here for what we're doing. Uh, the Intel team uh, then lifted off and talked about how WebGPU, uh, a rising standard for the web, could simply be adapted, picked up, uh, and, um, and then taken everywhere with WASI. Uh, and then I think my favorite part of the day was the biggest of the big companies, uh, Orange, uh, and their incredible global footprint. I only know them as who I roam to when I travel to Europe, and that's at least only who I knew them as, uh, and a fast-moving startup both talking about how they're embracing WebAssembly in their environment. Real customers, real people using WebAssembly in their environment. Think about how fast and how far WebAssembly has come in such a short time. Uh, and then uh, the cryo crew um, that made the slide that I did not even ask them to make, uh, but was delighted uh, to see on the Better Together story um, uh, in real life. And uh, um, I would point out that uh, they, the WASMEDGE uh, runtime, another CNCF project, um, is uh, doing a joint tutorial with uh, the uh, WASM Cloud project where you'll do WebAssembly components, and it doesn't really matter what runtime you're on. Uh, because I think as Bailey and Joe uh, just demonstrated here in my last picture I was able to snap of the day in uh, WASI Cloud, uh, that we're really witnessing this rise of WASM native. Um, that it's not coming, it's already here. And those little green shoots are the areas where I'm already aware that WASM is uh, a, embraced, whether it's as a plug-in, uh, as, uh, uh, as a runtime, uh, or as an executable itself. Uh, WebAssembly is here, and it's growing very quickly. Um, if you haven't had enough uh, WebAssembly content, uh, tomorrow there are three interesting talks. Uh, uh, Angel uh, uh, from uh, VMware uh, and Francisco are giving a talk around efficient LLM deployments in any cluster. Uh, Brooks Townsend uh, and Michael Wan of uh, Cosmonic and Second State, who are representing uh, CNCF Wasm Cloud and a CNCF WASM Edge are giving a hands-on tutorial if you want to learn how to build uh, components yourself. Uh, and then um, uh, the question that was asked earlier around WebAssembly and um, uh, eBPF, uh, Nandor, who has spoken at WASM Day previously, and uh, uh, Zolt uh, will be doing a building a zero trust environment without a service mesh. Uh, and I think that's going to be a really fascinating talk. I think there's a ton of potential there.
And then on Thursday, uh, get ready for the big keynote with uh, uh, Ralph, uh, and Michelle, uh, and uh, Kai, uh, who are going to be up on the big stage talking about um, WebAssembly and Kubernetes. Uh, then we've got um, uh, another cryo talk uh, with WebAssembly. And then Matt Butcher uh, from Fermion on another WASM and Kubernetes talk. And then uh, finally bringing us home, another talk that I'm actually really excited to see. Um, this is Akil from Stealth Rocket, uh, and then uh, uh, Rajiv um, uh, from Marsk, uh, who uh, would obviously be representing another customer talk. I always have a real soft spot for people that are actually out doing things and coming and telling those stories. And if uh, so if you want to get registered for the workshop, um, here's the QR code. It's uh, here at KubeCon on this floor, 7.3 in 102, uh, right down the hall here. Um, uh, that's tomorrow at 4.30 CET. Um, Hands-on, you can come and learn and get hands-on with WIT uh, and then use the run times um, yourself. Um, and if that wasn't enough content, start your engines because WasmCon is on the way, another Linux Foundation um, a conference. And this is a twofer because this is co-located with Cloud Native Security Con in Seattle, Washington in June. So if you are all excited, last year's was incredible with 263 attendees. And if you want to talk about a density of who's who in WASM, one out of five people were presenters. We had 52 talks. I mean, it was wild. It literally, Everybody in WASM was there, I felt like, and was delivering talks or talking about their things. You could talk to everybody on every standard uh, from every industry. And it was, uh, I would say, one third customers, you know, industry, one third open source, and one third commercial. Truly uh, incredible. And I'm inc uh, excited for this one again this year. Um, and the CFP is open. Please take out your phones right now. If you are in open source looking at YouTube, please. Jeff Labs, come on. It just launched wa.dev. Wish you guys were on stage. Wish you were doing that. That would have been a great talk. Uh, and click this, and this will put a calendar reminder uh, that uh, when the CFPs are due, uh, which, uh, and you'll still get an annoying email from me to get your CFP in for WASM Day, please. Uh, and any other, uh, anyone else, please. Um, lots of great topics, anything in WebAssembly. Here at WASM Day, we're trying to focus on the intersection of WASM and Cloud Native. WASM uh, Con really opens up the aperture and really gives us an opportunity to talk about much broader WebAssembly topics. Um, there was a, a lot of embedded folks there. Sony was out talking about their GPIO stuff. Bosch was on stage talking about what they're doing, um, Siemens came out and gave a great talk. So just a really, a whole bunch of interesting WebAssembly um, stuff. And uh, let me close uh, with what I hope that you really witnessed today is, is that where WebAssembly is now is building better together, um, which is the theme that we started with when we announced WebAssembly and Cloud Native five years ago was that WASM and Kubernetes weren't enemies, they were better together. And now I would say that we're, we're well on the way to building better together. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon.